Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So I've got a super exciting video for you today. It's going to be a bit of a long one, but it's just going to be full of outstanding, amazing snakes. Every single one is not produced by me. It's going to be just the 2020 pickups I picked up. I have bought more snakes, but this is a group of some of the best, some of the highlighted, from puzzles to super orange dream clown hypo, possible het ultra mills to special clowns to hurricane combos. There's just going to be so many amazing snakes in this video uh, from people like Ozzy Boyd, Justin Kabelka and some of the best UK breeders. So I'm really excited to bring this to you. But just first, quickly, people can't wait to see the back of 2020, but 2020 was a fantastic year for urban constrictors. So I am very grateful for the year of 2020. Not only did I hatch some amazing snakes, some world's first, some new kind of amazing snakes within the clown, con uh, clown project, just so many amazing things happened in 2020. I went to Scott Wilkinson's barbecue, uh, Marv at MJ Python's barbecue, made new friends, met new people, just had an awesome time with friends when lockdown wasn't basically on, when we wasn't on lockdown. Uh, just so many amazing things and I saw so many things happen what is great for the industry. Uh, Gavin at Ball Stew has created his dream facility. Uh, uh, Sam at Sam Townsend, uh, SP, uh, no, SPS Pythons, he's created his dream facility and he's on with it. He hasn't finished it just yet, but he's on with it. So many amazing things happened. Some bad things happened. JT lost his house and the majority of his collection to fire. But then the industry got behind him and started donating and, and helping him out. And I just saw so many amazing things happen in 2020 that although a lot of people kind of see 2020 as a dark year, I saw so much amazing stuff happen. So I'm very grateful for the year of 2020, but I sympathize with everyone that didn't have a good year and obviously was affected directly by the COVID virus. Some I wasn't, none of my family have been, so I'm so obviously grateful for that. So 2021, hopefully I'm gonna be able to push Urban Constrictors forward even more, create more just mind-blowing, amazing snakes, pick up some more mind-blowing, amazing snakes, and just kind of live the dream life I'm living. I'm not a rich man, uh, although I'm financially okay, but I'm living an absolute phenomenal life now with a couple of businesses under my belt. I've been able to work from home basically in here in the Urban Constrictors. My wife works from home. We have three healthy, beautiful young boys. And it's just, I'm just so grateful for everything that's kind of panning out. So many people to be thankful to and for, but I'm not gonna go through and name them because I will miss some. So 2020 was an amazing year. Let's make 2021 better. Let's keep pushing the industry forward in a positive manner. And now, let's see some truly amazing snakes. Right guys, so to get this video kicked off, I wanted to show a real amazing pickup, but unfortunately, she's deep in shed. But I've been dying to show this girl off, but she's just remained in shed for quite some time. She's a Hurricane Yellowbelly 100% Het Pied, bred by none other than Darren Hughes over at Neighbours Constrictors. So if you don't already know Darren, he's the most stand-up guy you could ever wish to meet. And he's one of my absolute best friends, definitely within the industry. Me and him are very, very good uh, friends. And he picked up an amazing Cypress Clown and I picked up from him this amazing female and the Orange Dream Fire Double Het Hypo Clown male that you've seen on past videos and uh, certainly on Instagram. So Hurricane excites me so much and being Het Pied with some of the Aussie Boyd pickups really fits my collection because I'm going quite deep into Pieds now uh, because not only just to create more amazing pieds, but uh, to mix them pieds in other combinations. Now I will feature this female on another video because she's amazing and definitely worth seeing, but unfortunately I can't time it where all the snakes are out of shed. And my absolute favorite visual snake is deep in shed. Uh, and so is this one and she's she's just amazing she has these beautiful deep reds and purple tones but you just can't see them so i'm going to feature her on another video up and coming
So next up is a very, very shy female uh, yellow belly leopard pied 100% head clown bred by Tony Hersey. Tony's made some fantastic snakes in 2019 and 2020 and really put his stamp on the industry. But he's now moving more into um, uh, some sort of more rare, uh, less, um, less mainstream genes. So he decided to sell some of his uh, pied head clowns and his clown head pieds, etc. And I was able to snatch this one up really quick. These aren't mites, by the way, it's just some reptichip dust. I've just cleaned every single snake. And bless my wife, she helped me uh, get urban constrictors under control because I'd let uh, the room get a little bit cluttered over Christmas while I wasn't filming. And she's come in and quickly cleaned up for me so I can do a video and feature these amazing snakes. Now, this uh, yellow belly leopard pied head clown is just amazing and got this cool paradox. A beautiful, beautiful pattern. Just amazing female to have growing up. Tony really has uh, produced some outstanding snakes this season and uh, caught the attention of a lot of us. So well done to Tony and this is the first one of the Tony pickups. And here is the next. And this is one of my absolute favorite snakes that I've recently picked up. So thank you, thank you so much to Tony uh, for this snake. She is just amazing. So Tony was one of the first people to mix special into clown and uh, create the special clowns. And Justin Kabalka caught his eye and caught many others. Now, not to take any credit for the, um, for the combination, but when the special pied was created, the special pied was created, it had such an amazing interaction. I decided I wanted to mix special into clown but I just never ever got there. So Tony uh, was obviously already on with it and getting the job done and he created some amazing special clowns and he was crazy enough to put this one up for sale. So I quickly went, got in there and snatched her up. She was a, a lot of money, but just a real asset to have. The colors, the, the, the kind of color palette she is, is just amazing. She's like these deep fiery reds I'm so in, so excited about working with this snake. And Tony takes terrible photographs. Tony, if you are watching this and you can take anywhere, anything away from this video, practice photography, get better at your photography skills. It's a blessing because I ended up with her, but I think if Tony would have nailed a photo, she would have sold much faster. So that's the second Tony Hersey pickup, but I actually took four snakes off Tony, but only two will be featured on this video. Cause I'm going to do a bit of a Tony Hersey video, just give him a bit of credit and same with Darren Hughes and that. Just two great guys in the industry and good friends of mine. So I just want to give him a bit of li limelight if you like. So that's the second one. So next up is my entrance into the blackhead gene and what an amazing, amazing snake to get me into the blackhead project. So this is a blackhead, 100% head desert ghost. Amazing female from Pybred uh, Pythons in the EU. Uh, Stefan is a really, really nice guy, a pleasure to deal with. And I bought this, a yellow belly or gravel head uh, desert ghost, possible head ghost, and a chocolate desert ghost head, uh, chocolate desert ghost head hypo that I'll be showing next. So check that out for a perfect example of the blackhead. He, uh, she, sorry, I can't remember if he or she, I think it's a girl, I'm sure it's a girl. Yeah, so she is just outstanding. Check out how dark she is. So this snake has got tremendous uh, amounts of likes when I've posted her up on Instagram because I typically show off all my new pickups, etc., on Instagram and Facebook first because it's obviously easier. And she got some like 2,600 likes in a couple of days. Just amazing female. So another female in the racks uh, to push my Desert Ghost project forwards. Check her out, amazing. So from the same breeder, this amazing chocolate Desert Ghost male, 100% head hypo. Amazing male. Also, we'll see my hypo clown one day. So to plug him into my hypo clown and make hypos, chocolate hypos, double het, uh, sorry not ultramel, I've got ultramel on the brain, double het, 
Desert Ghost Clown, I had to think. So, to recap, a chocolate hypo double hat Desert Ghost Clown. Just amazing. Triple recessive, quadruple recessives, etc. are the way the world is going. And this male will just be an asset to my collection. And to plug him into some females to get more het desert ghosts and chocolate desert ghosts. Because the Dark Knight, the amazing Dark Knight is a chocolate um, spot nose clown. Obviously plug him into a spot nose female. Just that in itself, that's not on Mike's more reptitude. Um, so to plug him into something like that would just be amazing to make some, one day to make some chocolate, uh, Dark Knights, um, Ghost, <laughs> oh Desert Ghost, oh hell there's so many jeans. So to make one day a Dark Knight, what's a chocolate spot nose clown with Hypo and Desert Ghost in the mix too, just amazing. Right guys, so here's another Aussie boy to pick up. So this is a potentially super orange dream, banana pastel clown female. So I think banana clown females are worth their weight in gold. And with this being at least a, a one copy of orange dream and obviously pastel, it's gonna be a very, very worthwhile female moving forwards. So I'm not 100% convinced she's a super orange dream, but I do think the other one I'm about to show you is. So an amazing female to grow up and to add to the clown army moving forwards. So next up is a possible super orange dream Enchi banana pastel clown. I think this is a super orange dream because of the just amazing colour. She is actually deep in shed. You can see her eyes are opaque, but I can try and time the video where all the snakes are out of shed because it just doesn't work when you're showing so many snakes on camera. So some of them are deep in shed, but they'll be featured in up and coming videos anyway. This female out of the two is just outstanding. Her color is phenomenal, even deep in shed. She's got a very reduced pattern because of the Enchi, but I think the Super Orange Dream is also reducing the pattern and creating these amazing ready orange tones. She's just outstanding and you can't really see pastel in this combo and that's one of the reasons I like it so much. The pastel gene has its place just like all genes do but in this combo I don't think pastel brings anything good and you can't even see the pastel in her so she's just outstanding. So that's the I think super orange dream pastel banana enchi clown female. So here's one of the uh, pads I bought from Aussie Boyd's. So this is a Enchi Orange Dream Pied who's deep, deep in shed and absolutely not looking her best. She she doesn't look good at all because she's that deep in shed. But like I say, you just can't uh, try and time it where every single snake is not in shed because when you're showing so many, it just doesn't work. Got bits of reptiship all over my hands. So really, really cool, powerful female to grow up. Um, Anything Orange Dream Henshi Pied is good, but all the group of Pieds, or nearly all the group of Pieds, are also 100% Het Ghost and possible Het Ultramel. So if the male proves out to be Het Ultramel and one or more of the females, that will be a real dream come true because we'll see some just ludicrously amazing snakes. And that's why I've gone for so many Orange Dream Pieds because I want lots of Super Orange Dream hypo pads and then obviously possibly super orange dream hypo ultra mel pads that they, they will just be so ready orange it'll just be ridiculous so that's the thought process behind the group of pads i'm about to show you so here's another pad from aussie boyds uh, being an orange dream pad 100 het ghost possible het ultra mel female like i say i want to produce lots of super orange dream uh, ghost pieds and this female will obviously help kind of get me to that to that uh, goal so i won't spend too long showing her because she's just a orange dream pied but she's still worth definitely worth seeing amazing female so here's yet another amazing orange dream entry pied 100 head ghost 
possible Het Ultra Mel from Aussie Boyds, another female. Um, just in case anyone's thinking she's got mics, she hasn't, she's got a bit of Reptile Chip dust on her. So another female to grow up and to kind of develop the Hypo Clown, sorry, Hypo Pied project and obviously Orange Dream and Super Orange Dream Hypo Pied and hopefully with a little bit of Ultra Mel in there somewhere along the lines. So another uh, phenomenal female from Aussie Boyds. So here's another amazing pied from Aussie Boyds. A female Super Orange Dream Enchi Pied 100% Head Ghost Possible Head Ultra Mel. So as you can see, more uh, Orange Dream Pieds because Orange Dream is my favourite gene outside of Recessives uh, alongside Cypress. Amazing female uh, to have growing up and hopefully one or more will prove out to be her Ultra Mel and I'll have a real amazing project moving forward with these pieds. Uh, some people say the pied project is dying. I absolutely don't see that and don't agree with it. And I'll continue working with the snakes I want to work with and not necessarily uh, follow fads and trends. I'll just do what I do best and just work with what I love and enjoy and keep ma making some amazing snakes. So that's the Super Orange Dream Engie Pied from Aussie Boyds. Next up, is a outstanding male pied. So the thought process behind this male was to plug him to some clown girls because he's got so many genes involved. He's a super orange dream, yellow belly, leopard, banana pied. So everything's gonna be at least orange dream. He's just outstanding. And his baby photos, the photos of him when he was a hatchling, he was just outstanding. We all know these snakes don't age so gracefully and I'm then going to try and push forwards and, and try and develop the project where hopefully the babies will hold on to that, uh, sorry, the adults will hold on to more of their baby colours, their, their hatchling colours. He's just amazing. I love his colours and the pattern. He's got a real wacky pattern. There's not a ton of pattern, but what he does have is cool and interesting. I like how he's very low white, so we get plenty of this. This is more interesting for me than straight white. He's just amazing, and with all them genes involved, plugging him to a clown, to a hypo, or a hypo clown, etc., just creates some amazing, amazing hatchlings to move urban constrictors forward. So that is the super orange dream, yellow belly, leopard, banana, pied male. So here's one of my favorite visual, favorite pieds from the Aussie Boyds group. This is a high intensity orange dream yellow belly pastel enchi pied 100% het lavender albino. So amazing, amazing male to plug to my dreamsicle, uh, het dreamsicle females and uh, pied het lavenders and stuff. I've had quite bad luck with the dreamsicle, dreamsicle project and hopefully this male will help get me back on track and moving forwards. So if this male uh, becomes a breeder this year, my dreamsicle male will go up for sale because this will be his replacement. What's interesting about this pied is this is the only pied with pastel involved and it's probably my favourite visually. So just like I always say, pastel has its place and this male is just exquisite. So that's the high intensity orange dream yellow belly pastel enchi pied 100% head lavender. And here is the sort of crown jewel of the pieds bought from Aussie Boyds. This is a Super Orange Dream Enchi Leopard Pied 100% Head Ghost Possible Head Ultra Mel. Now Aussie does think this is Super Enchi, believe it or not. I asked, he said it's possible double Super and I said Super Leopard and he said no Super Enchi. And I said what with that minimal pattern and he said yeah some of his Enchi pieds are actually, that's not a mite. I always make a point of point out. That's not a mite, it's just a bit of repti chip. So he, uh, he said, yeah, some of his uh, Enchi pieds are actually very, very high white, which was quite surprising. And that makes me want to mix some of my Enchi pieds in with them to bring all the kind of color and pattern back. Now, some of you will have seen this snake on his Instagram and um, Facebook and he he named it a uh, big dog level up snake something to, something to that sort of tone 
and it's just because it's so genetically amazing and powerful and these oranges are so bright they are getting a little bit dirty now but certainly in his hatchling photos they was just like terry's chocolate orange wrapper orange or the fruit orange just so bright and vibrant and i can't wait to add more jeans to it obviously when this is visual hypo it's just going to be outstanding so you think this male this super orange dream possible super energy leopard male pied 100% het ghost possible het ultra male it's going to see all them orange dream and enchi orange dream uh, combos with other jeans etc and it's just going to make some ludicrous pieds so think of the super orange dream super enchi leopard hypo pied uh, maybe ultra male in there one day too just just crazy just crazy potential and i'm also going to plug this amazing male into some clowns and other snakes even though this male was the single most expensive snake he wasn't my favorite and next up is the favorite so next up is the favorite favorite snake from the aussie boyd's shipment and simply because i don't work with puzzle yet so this is my entrance into puzzle and how excited how exciting for me to have such an unbelievably genetically powerful puzzle he is deep in shed as you can see his eyes are so incredibly opaque and what's interesting about this puzzle is he's never struck at me once lots of people say the puzzle gene is a very bitey one he's never once struck at me uh, he's just outstanding even in shed he looks amazing so i brought his id card just to uh, reel off all his genes so he's an orange dream yellow belly pastel weirdo puzzle <laughs> puzzle he's an orange dream yellow belly pastel weirdo puzzle possible cryptic so check that out just ludicrous ludicrous snake amazing amazing potential and he will be seeing my hypo clown one day my female hypo clown one day so amazing snake and this is my entrance into the puzzle project and you will see him out of shed on an upcoming video right guys so this is one of two snakes i bought from justin kabalka and it's a pastel clown so some of you might think well that isn't very exciting and it absolutely wouldn't be if it was just a pastel clown but both this male and female are 100% double head sunset pieds so just ludicrous absolutely ludicrous potential to hatch sunset clowns sunset pieds pie clowns is amazing who knows what the super pastel sunset clive clown pied will look like I did initially ask Justin if he had one without pastel to kind of dodge super pastel and he didn't, not for sale anyway. Uh, but I spoke to my good friend Darren, Darren Hughes at Neighbours Constrictors, and he I said, What do you think? He said, if you can if you can afford it, go for him because the potential is just amazing. And I said, Yeah, but will super pastel kill it? And he said, Well, we'll find out, won't we? And it's it kind of opened my eyes because who knows the super pastel sunset clown pied could be just outstanding and i'm not forced to hit that and obviously i will hit some with no pastel and then you can decide what to hold back and what not but i'm kind of intrigued to see where that kind of project how that project pans out and it's kind of thanks to darren because i wasn't really focusing on how it could look i just thought i don't want pastel and everything which I don't, but it could be amazing. So that's the first of the Pastel Clowns Double Het Sunset Pied. And here's the second. Now, this one is very, very pretty. It's, they're both very dark for Pastel Clowns, and I wonder if the sunset is creating these sort of darker tones with sunset being such a dark gene. But this one is just exquisite. Amazing, amazing snake. It doesn't have the ringer, but it has He's trying to have ringers. It reminds me a little bit of some of the um, some of the cypress clowns I've created. Such a cool pattern, really funky. So for a pastel clown, it's actually quite visually pleasing, but the genetics is what made me buy them. This pair was an awful lot of money, but the potential of what they're gonna create is just mind blowing. And these are amongst the most exciting snakes I've got because I just want to create just real living art and moving forwards and 
and kind of see where it can go and these are two of them snakes that'll just absolutely help me do that and then that brings me on to the next snake so I initially said there was two only two snakes from the UK and I forgot because I bought so many snakes I'm excited by so many I kind of forgot the sunset in the rack so that was just for a moment believe me I don't forget I've got this female and she is outstanding so she will be one of the females the male pastel clown double head sunset pied will see to make some sunset 100% head clown 50% head pied so this snake is from Ross McGee McKee sorry I always say McGee for some reason always it's Ross McKee a fantastic guy a guy who's got all my respect a really really great guy and what an amazing female she is her oranges are far far better far better than I expected I don't know how sunsets age because I don't own an adult but these colors for people that say sunsets are brown um, when lockdown's not happening come here I'll prove they are brown the kind of a brown tone around the head and neck but she is bright orange I really pray it's coming through on camera she is amazing and I know Gavin's got a fantastic fantastic example uh, sunset I believe het ultramel real amazing snake I've seen some of the Instagram pictures I've never seen it in flesh and it's just outstanding so people that are writing the sunset gene off I think you're very very short-sighted I think every gene has its place even pinstripe <laughs> pinstripe and pied is pretty cool but pinstripe is one of my least favorite genes because we all have to have a top favorite and, a, and you know the least favorite but even pinstripe and spider etc they all have their place it's just knowing what direction to go and this is an amazing base to start my sunset uh, project so thanks once again to ross for this amazing female so i hope you've enjoyed today's video guys normally i'll try and put something a little bit artistic a little bit flary uh, together but this video was going to be a long one with the amount of snakes I was prepared to show so I've just kind of kept it plain and simple with a little bit of background music so I hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe for more content 2021 should unravel some amazing uh, videos well kind of amazing egg cutting videos and stuff like that if the plan goes to plan it's going to be another phenomenal season so please stay tuned for that um, all the people I've kind of mentioned in the video, uh, please give them a follow. Just some fantastic guys. Obviously, Aussie Boys and Justin Kabilka, everyone's going to know about. But some um, some people that, that aren't as in the limelight as Justin and Aussie. Aussie kind of kind of flies under the radar, but we all know who he is. He's one of the OGs. So please give all the people a follow that I've mentioned, from Darren to Tony to Ross, everyone else, uh, Stefan etc and let's keep the positivity going and i'll catch you on the next video guys cheers